Thank you for joining us for this Targeted Oncology Virtual Tumor Board, which focuses on chronic myelocytic leukemia. In today's Targeted Oncology Virtual Tumor Board presentation, my colleagues and I will present four clinical cases. We will discuss an individualized approach to treatment for each patient, and we'll discuss and review key trial data that impacts our decisions. I am Dr. James McCluskey, Interim Chief of the Division of Leukemia uh, at the John Thurr Cancer Center in Hackensack, New Jersey. Today, I am joined by Dr. Adam Bagg, Director of Hematology, Professor of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the Hospital of University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Dr. Elias Jabor, Professor of Medicine in the Leukemia Department at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. Dr. Michael Morrow, leader of the Myeloproliferative Neoplasms Program, member of the Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, and professor at Weill Cornell Medicine in New York, New York. And Dr. Douglas Smith, professor of oncology, division of hematologic malignancies at the Sydney Kimmel Can Comprehensive Cancer Center at Johns Hopkins Medical Institute in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you for joining us. Let's get started on our first case. Dr. Mora, would you like to introduce our first case? Uh, absolutely. So case one is a refractory chronic face TML with multiple comorbidities. So the history of this patient would be a 62-year-old man presents to his primary care physician with symptoms of fatigue, shortness of breath, and abdominal discomfort. The past medical history is significant in this case. Um, this gentleman had a history of bacterial pneumonia with pleural effusion, um, 2016, hypertension, um, a arrhythmia, a supraventricular tachycardia, and was noted to have some borderline QT prolongation, and was managed on Prapamil. In 2016, was um, unfortunately also found to have renal insufficiency with stage 3A uh, changes in, in kidney function with a decreased glomerular filtration rate. Uh, mm -hmm. On physical, he's got palpable splenomegaly. When we look at the lab uh, presentation, we see the white count is elevated, as it should be, uh, for the diagnosis of CML, 158,000, with a left shift. 4% uh, metamyelocytes, 6% myelocytes, 4% basophils, and blasted 8%. Hematocrits 29%, platelets 135,000, and the hemoglobin's 12. So if you calculate this, uh, he's got a higher so-called score. Uh, as, as is appropriate, a bone marrow is done, and this shows a hypercellular marrow with the pH chromosome in 20 out of 20 metaphases. Baseline BCR ABLE testing shows uh, transcript level 75% on the international scale. So, you know, we have a diagnosis of chronic face CML, but obviously in a little bit of more of a complicated patient. Um, so, in this case, we see a patient who started on a mantin of 400 milligrams. Um, and at three months, uh, his transcript level has reduced, but only to 26%. He's followed subsequently, and at six months, now the transcript level is, is further reduced, but only to 18%. A bone marrow is repeated and still shows pH positivity with 10 out of 20 metaphases, consistent with a lack of a complete cytogenetic response. Sequencing is done, and no known TKI mutations are found. At this point, the CBC looks much better. Obviously, he's in complete hematologic response with a white count of 5, normal differential, hematocrits 40, platelets 112,000, and hemoglobin is 12.9.